Welcome everybody, I've been looking forward to making this video. I wrote a post months and months ago on my favorite juicing recipes and it happens to be the most popular blog post. So I decided to follow it with a video. I have been juicing vegetables for two or three years now. I've been enjoying it and it has enormous health benefits. So in this video, I want to show you how to get into juicing vegetables, how to start if you're a complete beginner, and to share with you two recipes. One of them is just for a beginner, and one of them is adding more advanced vegetables. So with that, I have all the vegetables already cut up, washed, and clean and ready to go. This is kale. This is yellow delicious apple. Next to it, we have cucumbers. Next to it, I have lemon, two lemons, and they are not peeled. Then I have some fresh dill. I have beets here, two small beets fresh ginger, ginger over here, we have fresh parsley, and then we have carrots here. These are carrot tops that I have kept. I also juice these later. And to finish, we have some cilantro and some fresh baby spinach. This is my juicer. The one thing you absolutely need to juice vegetables or fruits is a masticating juicer. Not a blender, not a food processor, but a juicer that actually takes the vegetable and separates the pulp from the juice. I have an Omega juicer. It happens to have lifetime warranty. I've actually broken a part and they have sent me a fresh part back. But you can buy any brand of a juicer as long as it has the masticating juicing built in. So today, we're gonna start first with the simple juicing, with a simple recipe. The first recipe I wanna share with you is an carrot, beet, and apple recipe. This is a very sweet juice. It has amazing benefits. You can drink it anytime. The one thing I recommend is when you juice, you should drink it immediately. I don't like to store juices, so I usually just juice enough to store it maximum one day. But I would rather drink it immediately as soon as I juice it. And the second thing is, you wanna make sure you buy fresh vegetables and fruits. It doesn't have to be organic. Sometimes it matters which vegetables you pick organic, but in general, as long as it's fresh and ready to go. So I've cut up the vegetables and um, I have cut up the carrots here. I have the beets and I have the apple ready to go. So I'm gonna turn this on and I'm gonna show you how the process works. It's very, very simple. You're just gonna start putting the, uh, just start putting the carrots in the chute now the chute varies from juicer to juicer. You could buy bigger ones where you could put a whole fruit, sometimes a whole apple in them. I think Jack Lalonde makes a very big one. Mine is a smaller. I chose this one again because it had lifetime warranty. So I do take the time to cut the vegetables in advance. So I'm gonna turn this on and we're gonna start. What happens first is that the pulp is gonna come out here, the juice is gonna come out here and there is a screen that's gonna capture any leftover pulp and the juice is gonna be stored down here. So, are we ready? Here we go. You just have to press it down a little bit. And you can put them in pretty quickly. So you can see the juice coming out. And carrot juice is delicious. You can probably drink it all by itself. ready to go before you start the juicing. Everything needs to be washed, cleaned, cut, and for this simple recipe it doesn't matter what order you put them in. Later I will um, have some tips for you on how to uh, put the vegetables in a certain order. So I'm going to stop for a second and show you. There is our apple juice coming out, nice and fresh. There is the pulp. So for the pulp, for the carrot pulp, I keep it. For the beet and carrot pulp, I keep them and I mix them with salads later. For the rest of the vegetables, I don't use them. But there are books that show you recipes on how to use them in 
maybe soups or in other foods. So I will put this in a separate bowl and keep it for later. And then I will continue to juice the rest of the carrots here for us. Just a few more minutes. together. You have to be careful with beets. They have a very strong color and they can stain anything they touch. They're extremely delicious and sweet, but that is the one problem. You have to make sure you wash everything right away after, um, after you use them. Okay, so we're almost done with our first juice recipe, yum. And the last thing I'm gonna add is apple. So I did mention it doesn't matter what order you put them in, but you should put something after the beet because the beet and the dark vegetables in general, they, um, they make the, um, make a lot of stains here so if you have a lemon lime or the apple put them in last because they clean out the juicer as they go in so i am finished here with there we go with our first juice now when you put everything in after you finish you turn the juicer off and what i do is i actually put it on reverse so the uh, the machine goes backwards and there is some leftover juice that comes out and then, if I feel really greedy, I pick it up like this, and you can see some juice come out, and I do that a couple of times. And then, pull this out slowly. Okay, so now I get the rest of the juice in here, because this is a still a little bit juicy on top. Now, we're done. This is our first juice. Of course, your juicer could look different, but this is sort of the setup I have on mine. This juicer is actually supposed to be one of the best, as in the pulp is the driest. There is no juice left in the pulp whatsoever. Okay, here's our first juice. Carrot, beet, and apple. This is simple. If you've never had a vegetable juice, this is probably the simplest one. I think your body will appreciate it. It's sweet, it's delicious, it has many benefits for you. And you can start this way and then we can add dark leafy vegetables. Yum. Okay, so let's move on. So now I'm going to make the rest of the um, recipe. This is gonna be a more advanced juice. This is going to have all kinds of different vegetables in it. It's still going to have a few carrots, beets, and a little bit of apple. Those are my base, but I'm going to add some more. So we're going to add cucumbers. I love cucumbers, they're very sweet. A lot of people add celery. I don't particularly care for the taste of celery. I have drunk it before, and you can use celery, but I prefer cucumbers. Then I use kale. Kale has a very hard leaf, I actually eat it raw as well, but um, it's much better juiced and it's actually quite sweet when you juice it. You just have to be very careful when you handle these leaves because it's going to get a little bit messier than just putting carrots and, and beets down the chute. It's going to get a little bit messier putting these in, but we're going to manage. So I have them cut up pretty well, but not too small. And then I have some fresh dill, I have uh, some cilantro and parsley and spinach. Baby spinach. Baby spinach is extremely sweet, has tons of benefits, and um, extremely good for you. And then I have two uh, what I call advanced leaves. One of them is, um, these are the uh, carrot tops. 
So you know the carrots you buy in the store, not the ones in a package, but the ones that are in the store, they actually have the carrot top. That's pretty bitter, but it's supposed to be full of vitamins. I juice these as well. You don't have to. You can leave out any of these. The other thing I do is um, I keep the beet leaves. The same thing. When you buy beets, either you get them by themselves or they have all the leaves with them that haven't been cut yet. And I also juice these. And again, your stomach has to be used to handling juices before you go to these vegetables. But you can leave any of these out. I just think it makes a pretty good combination. And then the two fundamental uh, things I add at the very end are ginger, fresh ginger. And again, you have to be very careful with ginger because it is like the wasabi in sushi or um, anything else where it's going to be extremely strong and pungent but uh, extremely detoxing and good for you and it just adds a punch to your juice. So I have a few pieces, but you can start with something as small as this for your first juice. And then lemon. I don't peel the lemon. I don't think you need to peel it for any juicers, but uh, I do use a lemon, a whole lemon, and I put it in the very last. So it cleans out the juicer from everything else after it goes through. Okay, so we're ready to get started. I'm, I don't think it matters what order you do things as long as you put the lemon last, but I'm going to put the lemon and the ginger last and I'm gonna go through all these vegetables. The, the, the color of the juice is a dark green. It may be a little bit scary at the beginning. My husband still doesn't drink it, but once you drink it, you will crave it like you crave chocolate. I promise you, if you do it right and you get used to the taste and what it does for your body, you will be addicted to it. And it's a lot of work. It's a lot of work to juice and to clean up after yourself, but it's well worth it. It's like having a dog. I think it's well worth it. Okay, so let's get started. So we're gonna start with the leaves. Again, these are optional. I'm putting in the beet leaves. Remember, you don't have to do this, but uh, when you get more advanced, you definitely don't want to waste them. So you see, my cheese is small, so I have to push them down. And then I interchange between putting the vegetables and putting the leaves in. So they can go down easier. Now I'm putting in the dill. You can also do lettuce. I don't have lettuce with me today. Uh, romaine lettuce is best. And I have tried different vegetables as well. These are the main ones that I really like. And I don't mix citrus fruits with uh, my vegetable juices. The only citrus I put is a lemon. Sometimes a lime but I never put an orange or a tangerine or a grapefruit in with my dark vegetables or even with the beet and the carrot. I just don't think the taste goes, but I know some people love uh, orange juice and uh, carrot juice. So I think my best advice to you is experiment and find your own taste buds and see what works because what I may not like may work very well for you and there is no right or wrong when you are juicing vegetables as long as you juice and you drink it. I think you're doing plenty of good for your body. So as far as the pulp goes here, as far as the pulp goes, I don't keep the pulp. I will just discard the pulp properly. And the other thing I do is, when I first started juicing, I was pretty excited. So I was doing it very often, probably four or five times a week. And I realized I'm forgetting what I'm mixing and what my favorite recipes are. So I started keeping a journal, a juicing journal, where you write down things that really taste good, and then what time of the day you have them. Sometimes for breakfast, something tastes a lot better than uh, in the evening. And then you go back and you start to see the pattern. So that's really something that worked well. And then you learn what works well for you. So make sure you keep track. The other thing is, I don't drink the juices on a full stomach or even a half full stomach. I really recommend you drink them on a pretty empty stomach. And I don't recommend eating anything afterwards for probably two hours at least. I think it really allows your body to um, sit with the juice and just to um, let it rest from digestion. 
So that's my, my suggestion. But you find um, some places recommend uh, drinking a juice with your meal. I've never done it, but uh, when I was reading the Natalia Rose books, that was her recommendation and I've kind of stuck with it and it's worked really well for me. So I think after this I'm going to have enough juice for two days. And speaking of that, I store them in a container like this and I don't keep them more than one or two days like I mentioned because it just starts to lose freshness and taste because there's no preservatives to keep them. Okay, we're doing great. I'm just going to keep adding a few more things. So the taste in this juice is going to be different. Depending on how much dark vegetables you put with the ratio of your dark vegetables to your uh, beets and your apples and your carrots, it's going to make it a little bit more pungent and um, it's going to take some time to get used to the taste. But um, the dark vegetables are actually the most beneficial to you and they have the least amount of sugar. So you really want to make sure you balance the sugar in your, uh, in your juices. So this is the kale. It can be very stubborn, but I'm sure you can manage. You just push it down. Perfect. And as far as time goes, I know that this is pretty time consuming. I kind of fell out of pattern and I stopped. I stopped doing it for, for a long time. I do it less in the winter because my body craves it less. I think it's really nice to juice in the spring and the summer and uh, some of my favorite juices are some of the fruits like cantaloupe and strawberry together and just keep it for a couple of days in the fridge and uh, have something to snack on after a workout or after yoga. So I don't think I'm going to use everything here so we're almost done. As far as ratio goes, again it really depends on your taste buds. Here I am kind of mixing a lot of different vegetables. If you want the spinach juice, then of course you use more spinach and you make sure you put something else like a beet or a carrot or an apple to, uh, to make it a little bit sweeter. Okay, I'm going to put a few of these carrot tops because I cut them up. Don't want them to go to waste. Of course you have to wash everything and cut it in advance. And then cleaning, not my favorite part, but you have to clean it, clean the juicer right after, and I mean right after you finish. So if you get into a habit and you have a process for yourself, a system, then uh, you'll be surprised how often you do it. You won't even think about it. Okay, I think we have enough because it looks like it's full at the bottom. So I'm going to stop it for a second and you can see the juice coming out, coming down and sometimes my juicer gets full up here because there is a little bit of pulp that gets out so I just make sure I run the spoon here to just let everything down and you can see this pulp is really dry, there is absolutely no juice left. If there was any juice in your vegetable, you have it right here. Okay, I'm going to finish with the lemon. And like I said, I didn't peel my lemon. And there's no bitterness from the whole lemon or lime. Okay, and the lemon goes through and just cleans out your juicer if you put it in at the very, very end. Okay, so we're done. I'm going to turn it off and then run it backwards just to get a little bit of more juice out and then pick it up. This was not in the manual, this is just a trick. So you can see you can get more out. Okay, I'm ready to pour it out and show you the color. Don't be scared. The color is a little dark but it's delicious. And like I said, you can leave out any of these vegetables. You can start just adding spinach, cucumber, anything. And just start very, very slow. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna make too much of a mess. 
Okay, so one second. Okay, this is a very, very dark trick, as you can see. And it smells wonderful. So, this is about a half a cup. I usually drink a full cup when I do it and I take time to uh, drink it over the course of 5-10 minutes. So if you compare the two colors, that is our beet, carrot and apple recipe and this one is our, let me fill it up, we made just as much, give you an idea how much we made and we still have some vegetables left. So we put in here cilantro parsley, cucumber, kale, carrot top, beet top, and carrots and beets, ginger and lemon. So I put everything. Okay, I'm gonna take a sip, see how it turned out. Yum, I think this will be my dinner. I'd like to close by telling you that really and truly, juicing has changed the way I feel and my perspective on food and health completely. I have lost a ton of weight, but I don't do it anymore for weight loss or for weight maintenance. I just do it because it makes me feel so good. I'm going to have a lot of recipes on the blog and I'm happy to answer your questions and come to me with your recipes and your experiences and a happy juicing and to your health.